Ramjets and scramjets are both types of air-breathing jet engines that play a crucial role in powering supersonic cruise missiles. Here's how they work. Ramjets. Ramjets are a type of air-breathing jet engine that uses the atmosphere as the oxidizer, eliminating the need for onboard oxygen storage. They operate efficiently at speeds between Mach 2 and Mach 6. How ramjets work. First, air intake. Air enters the engine through an inlet where it's compressed and mixed with fuel. Secondly, combustion takes place where the fuel-air mixture ignites, producing a high-pressure and high-temperature gas. Thirdly, the gas expands through a nozzle, producing a high-speed exhaust that generates thrust. Scramjets Scramjets are supersonic combustion ramjets. They are a type of ramjet that operates efficiently at speeds above Mach 5. They're designed to maintain combustion in the supersonic flow, which is challenging due to the short residence time of the fuel-air mixture. How scramjets work. 1. Air intake. Air enters the engine through an inlet, where it's compressed and mixed with fuel. 1. Supersonic combustion. The fuel-air mixture ignites in the supersonic flow, producing a high-pressure and high-temperature gas. 1. Expansion. The gas expands through a nozzle, producing a high-speed exhaust that generates thrust. Application in supersonic cruise missiles. Ramjets and scramjets are ideal for powering supersonic cruise missiles due to their high-speed capability. Both ramjets and scramjets can operate efficiently at supersonic speeds, making them suitable for missiles that need to travel long distances at high speeds. Air breathing capability. By using the atmosphere as the oxidizer, ramjets and scramjets eliminate the need for onboard oxygen storage, reducing the missile's weight and increasing its range. High thrust-to-weight ratio. Both ramjets and scramjets can produce a high thrust-to-weight ratio, making them ideal for missiles that require rapid acceleration and high speeds. Examples of supersonic cruise missiles that use ramjets or scramjets include BrahMos. The BrahMos missile uses a ramjet engine to achieve speeds up to Mach 3. X-51 Waverider uses a scramjet engine to achieve speeds up to Mach 5. The hypersonic air-breathing weapon concept, Hawk, uses a scramjet engine to achieve speeds up to Mach 6. Ramjets and scramjets are types of air-breathing jet engines that power high-speed aircraft, including ramjet-powered aircrafts and missiles, cruise missiles. Ramjets are commonly used in cruise missiles, such as the BrahMos and the AGM-86B, supersonic aircraft. Ramjets have been used in experimental supersonic aircraft, like the Lockheed X-7 and the Nord 1500 Griffin, hypersonic vehicles. Ramjets are being researched for use in hypersonic vehicles, such as the X-51 Waverider. Scramjet-powered aircrafts, hypersonic aircrafts. Scramjets are being developed for use in hypersonic aircraft, such as the X-51 Waverider and the High Shot. Space planes. Scramjets are being researched for use in space planes, such as the Space Shuttle, USA, and the Scaled Composite Spaceship 2. Experimental vehicles. Scramjets have been used in experimental vehicles, like the NASA X-43. The working principles of ramjets and scramjets. Both ramjets and scramjets use the atmosphere as the oxidizer, eliminating the need for onboard oxygen storage. Working principle of ramjet, air intake. Air enters the engine through an inlet, where it's compressed and mixed with fuel. Combustion, the fuel-air mixture ignites, producing a high pressure and high temperature gas. Expansion, the gas expands through a nozzle, producing a high-speed exhaust that generates thrust. Scramjet working principle, air intake. Air enters the engine through an inlet, where it's compressed and mixed with fuel. Supersonic combustion. The fuel-air mixture ignites in the supersonic flow, producing a high-pressure and high-temperature gas. Expansion. The gas expands through a nozzle, producing a high-speed exhaust that generates thrust. Key differences between ramjets and scramjets. Speed range. Ramjets operate efficiently at speeds between Mach 2 and Mach 6, while scramjets operate above Mach 5. Combustion process. Ramjets use subsonic combustion, while scramjets use supersonic combustion. Engine design. Ramjets have a more conventional engine design, while scramjets have a more complex design with a shorter combustion chamber. Why ramjets and scramjets are not used to power passenger airplanes. Neither ramjets nor scramjets are used to power passenger airplanes due to the following reasons. Speed limitations. Ramjets and scramjets are designed for high-speed operation, above Mach 2 and Mach 5, respectively which is not suitable for passenger airplanes that typically cruise at around Mach 0.8. Air breathing limitations. Ramjets and scramjets rely on the atmosphere for oxygen, which limits their operation to altitudes below around 100,000 feet, 
30,480 meters. Passenger airplanes typically cruise at much lower altitudes. Thrust to weight ratio. Ramjets and scramjets have a high thrust to weight ratio, but they are not as efficient as traditional turbofan engines at low speeds. What engines power passenger airplanes? Turbofan engines. Most modern passenger airplanes are powered by high bypass turbofan engines, such as the General Electric GE90, Rolls-Royce Trent 1000, or Pratt & Whitney PW4000. These engines provide efficient and reliable power for commercial aviation. Turboprop engines. Some smaller passenger airplanes like the ATR-72 or the Bombardier Q400 are powered by turboprop engines. These engines provide efficient power for shorter range flights. Scramjet, supersonic combustion ramjet. Propulsion engines play a crucial role in powering hypersonic missiles, enabling them to reach speeds above Mach 5. Key characteristics of scramjet propulsion engines. 1. Supersonic combustion. Scramjets operate in the supersonic regime, where the airflow is faster than the speed of sound. 2. Air breathing. Scramjets use the atmosphere as the oxidizer, eliminating the need for onboard oxygen storage. 3. High thrust-to-weight ratio. Scramjets can produce a high thrust-to-weight ratio, making them suitable for hypersonic applications. How does scramjet propulsion engines power hypersonic missiles? There are four phases involved in the powering hypersonic missiles by a scramjet engine. These phases include boost phase. A rocket booster accelerates the missile to supersonic speeds above Mach 1. Scramjet ignition. Once the missile reaches supersonic speeds, the scramjet engine ignites, using the atmosphere as the oxidizer. Lastly, sustained hypersonic flight phase. In this phase, the scramjet engine continues to propel the missile at hypersonic speeds above Mach 5, enabling it to reach its target. Examples of hypersonic missiles using scramjet propulsion. X-51. Wave Rider. A scramjet-powered hypersonic missile that reached speeds up to Mach 5 during testing. Hypersonic Air Breathing Weapon Concept, Hawk, a scramjet-powered hypersonic missile currently under development. BrahMos-2, a scramjet-powered hypersonic missile that is expected to reach speeds up to Mach 7. There are jet propulsion technologies beyond scramjets, and researchers are continuously advancing existing ramjet and scramjet technologies. Jet propulsion technologies beyond scramjets, dual-mode scramjets. These engines can operate in both subsonic and supersonic combustion modes, enabling more efficient operation across a wider speed range. Rotating Detonation Engines, RDEs. RDEs use a rotating detonation wave to combust fuel, potentially offering higher efficiency and thrust-to-weight ratios than traditional scramjets. Pulse Detonation Engines. PDEs use a series of detonations to combust fuel, potentially offering higher efficiency and thrust-to-weight ratios than traditional scramjets. Nuclear Scramjets. These engines use nuclear reactions to heat the airflow, potentially offering higher specific impulse and thrust-to-weight ratios than traditional scramjets. Fusion-driven scramjets. These engines use fusion reactions to heat the airflow, potentially offering extremely high specific impulse and thrust-to-weight ratios. Advances in ramjet technology, improved materials. Research into new materials and manufacturing techniques has enabled the development of more efficient and durable ramjet components. Advanced fuel injection systems. New fuel injection systems have improved combustion efficiency and reduced emissions in ramjets. Variable geometry inlets. These inlets can adjust to optimize airflow and combustion efficiency across a range of speeds and altitudes. Ceramic matrix composites. These materials are being used to develop more durable and heat-resistant ramjet components. Advances in scramjet technology. Improved computational fluid dynamics, CFD. Advances in CFD have enabled more accurate simulations and optimization of scramjet designs. Advanced materials and manufacturing techniques. Research into new materials and manufacturing techniques has enabled the development of more efficient and durable scramjet components. Dual mode scramjets. These engines can operate in both subsonic and supersonic combustion modes, enabling more efficient operation across a wider speed range. Plasma assisted combustion. This technology uses plasma to enhance combustion efficiency and stability in scramjets. These advances and new technologies are pushing the boundaries of jet propulsion, enabling the development of more efficient, durable and powerful engines for a wide range of applications.